All right, so this video is going to be about powdery mildew and downy mildew. Powdery mildew versus downy mildew. So what's the difference between the two? Well, they're both the same thing. It's just their tax economy is slightly different, but they're basically both mildews. And powdery mildew generally forms on the top of the leaf like you see here. And it forms little these little spots. You'll see them starting to pop up everywhere. Basically, once you see it, just like any mildew, and you start seeing it, it's pretty much game over. It's everywhere inside your area. That whole area will eventually get completely covered in mildew, and there's really nothing you're going to be able to do about it. You can spray it. You can use some topical sprays and spray it, but it doesn't matter because it's airborne. It's just going to get right back on there, and it's basically going to cause the same thing over and over. You're just basically wasting your time. That's why you don't see me spraying it. But what I wanted to talk about was the powdery mildew versus the downy mildew. Now, powdery mildew is on the top of the plant. You'll always see it form on the top surface of the leaf. Downy mildew forms on the bottom part of the leaf. Now, I don't have any downy mildew this year. But sometimes I get powdery mildew, sometimes I get downy mildew, sometimes I get powdery mildew and downy mildew. This year it just looks like powdery mildew is showing up, downy mildew may show up down the road. I'm looking around at all my, my leaves, but that's really basically, basically it. That's really the only difference is one forms on the bottom. They look basically identical. There's some... Here's some powdery mildew here. See, there's the bottom of the leaves are perfectly fine. They're perfectly clean. You see a little bit on the stem over there. So it's already gone to the stem. There's more over there. That, that's history. That plant is history. Unless you're going to plan on soaking that plant to death, don't even waste your time because... It, within a, a matter of weeks, this plant will be basically junk. It'll be dead, basically. So that's why I don't waste my time with, with these, with uh, powdery mildew and downy mildew. I don't really grow a lot of cucubits up here. It's not that I don't like cucubits. It's just because the powdery mildew and downy mildew is so bad up here. I, I can never successfully get a, a decent harvest before this stuff sets in and causes damage. But... That's it. I just wanted to show you what the powdery mildew looks like. It's on the top. It's a white powder. And downy mildew is basically the same thing, but it's the underside of the leaf. And when you see that, either one of those, it's pretty much getting ready for the end of your season. So how do you treat it? You could use a number of household items to spray on it and treat it. I use hydrogen peroxide mixed with water, spray that on there. You can use baking soda, you can use neem oil. But again, I don't even waste my time doing doing that anymore because as soon as you spray it, a couple of days later, the, the spores that are in the air land back on it, go all through the process again. It's almost like you're waste, completely wasting your time. There's no point in... in um, and doing that really the best way to deal with powdery and downy mildew is you really want to plant in succession planting so the plant gets to a, a certain size before it gets affected like so the fruits will be a certain size you got to plant according to your garden schedule and stuff like that but outside of that trying to treat is just a literal waste of time so that's just my two cents on and i mean you want to spend the time and treat it then go for it you can do it but you'll be out there again and again and again until the season's over and basically you know you're not going to win is what you're going to find out all right so anyway uh that was just a quick video about powdery mildew versus downy mildew like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one now i do want to mention too that powdery mildew and downy mildew generally only affects cucubits uh, stuff like um, squash, zucchinis, pumpkins, watermelons, uh, cucumbers. It really only affects those plants. Pretty much everything else generally don't get powdery mildew and downy mildew. Uh, though they can. If, if you get a plume in your area that's so heavily concentrated, powdery mildew and downy mildew rains down like snow. And it gets so hard it gets on the trees 
it gets on the grass, it gets on, you'll literally see it growing off the trees. I mean, it just, it can really get that dense. In Pennsylvania, we actually have a forecast for powdery mildew and downy mildew because it moves around the state like in a plume, like it's like a, like an oil slick that moves around in the state. And I've had it up here one year where it was in, I was in that plume and it was so bad. It was on the trees. It was on growing like a moss on the side of the greenhouse. Basically, it was so bad. So yeah, it can get really bad, but um, just wanted to make sure I mentioned that before uh, I end the video. So.